Hello, Cancer. Good evening. I'm recording this at night time for you. This is Terra Illumination with your May 2017 general reading. And it's for you, dear Cancer. Okay? So May's coming up. It's Taurus energy. Just started. We're actually shooting these right on the cusp of a pile of cusps, if that makes any sense. So there's a lot of ripples and waves happening all right now as the energy shifts from one format to another. We've got the sun just moving into Taurus. We've got Mercury just going into Aries coming up. Venus just turned direct. And we've got Mars turning into Gemini. And we've got Pluto turning station retrograde. So that's a lot of stuff happening all simultaneously. And we've got the North Node coming into Leo at the end of April, right here, or at the very, very last day, okay? So that's a lot, a lot of stuff to be happening all at once. So it could be a little disorienting, making people feel a bit wobbly. And, uh, excuse me, Cancer, I'll just keep shuffling. We'll get to the reading any moment now. So, um, and that's affecting everybody, okay? So, uh, Cancer, I'd like to invite you also, remember to please watch for your sun, moon, and rising, okay? Also, watch the general video. That's for all signs. It's mostly about the patterns, the star planetary patterns, to give you an overview of what's happening for everybody. So, and also want to mention the North Node in Leo reports as well, because that's very, very important. Okay, And the Saturn retrograde reports, because that's very important. That's going to be going on for most of the summer. Okay, It's going to affect all of us. Okay, So that's a lot of homework, I know. I'm sorry. But, you know, it's how we stay out of trouble. Okay, it's like, this is like spiritual navigation systems. Okay, uh, spiritual GPS that we do here at uh, Terra Illumination. So, uh, you know, with the North Node thing, we're all on the same bus. We're on a new, new evolutionary pathway, a new big new chapter as the whole Pisces Virgo thing wraps up. It's unfolding. It's the end of the end of the end of all of that. The, uh, when you look at the, uh, the planet reports, the big things that stand out is the big, fat, fire trine, okay? Uh, so that one affects you, dear Cancer, mostly in uh, career, uh, money, and work and health in those particular departments. So you might feel um, some surprising developments there, okay? that are hopefully pretty good for you, okay? The other big thing, of course, is this brutal T-square with Capricorn in the middle, Pluto and Capricorn, and Jupiter over there, and Libra, and uh, all that Aries energy over here in, a, in opposition. And so, like a lot of Cancers, you've been taking a pounding, and it's the same for the Capricorns, too, on the other end of the Pluto energy. So, be strong, okay? And... Uh, it's going to be with us pretty much the whole month, so you, you just, just, you just got to be strong. It's very much to do with the dynamics of relationships, uh, very much to do with relationships, you know, the power balances. So check that video. The last one is the, um, there's a really hard square still going on between Saturn and Sagittarius and Chiron and Pisces. So this is like very, very uncomfortable for a lot of people as the truth is exposed regarding our deepest wounds. This is the stuff we avoid at all costs, you know, because it's the whole idea of healing this is just so painful that we just don't want to heal, okay? That's what happens a lot of times. People just don't want to evolve. They don't want to heal because they're not willing to go through the growing pains, okay? They don't want to upset the status quo. They don't want to reveal it to heal it. And that's just how it is. It's your choice. It's your decision, okay? I'm hoping that here with Terra Illumination, we give people the courage to, to reveal it to heal it. All right? Also, lastly, um, we're going to be doing love and relationship readings for May. 
but that'll probably be a few days from now, okay? So hang in, Cancer. I got a lot to do. I've been talking too much already. I shuffled between, uh, so the cards are pretty clear, but I want to be extra sure. All right, so that's the last bit. I'm going to I'm going to cut now. Really extreme cuts here. And then we're going to do a little quickie reading for you. All right? So it's the same format we used in April. Here's the general vibe, okay, Cancer? Here's where you're coming from, okay? Here's where things are right now for you. Here's where you're heading, okay? By this point, we're already facing into the unknown, which can be a little disconcerting. Here's how you're going to handle it, okay? Hopefully, we're going to figure that out. Here's what lies up ahead, what's coming up for you in the world around you. Whether you've attracted it or it's just coming at you, whatever. And here's the hopes and fears, okay, because we all have these. They're almost the same thing when you're looking forward into the future, okay, on your epic journey, okay, as you rise up into the shiny new version of yourself. And here's where it's all going, okay? We're going to see how this pans out. Oh, yeah, hold on. Have a look. This is going on in the background here. This is like the weather outside your front door. This is kind of what's going on anyway. Uh, it might be your own energy that you're creating here, your own weather. You might be one of those really powerful manifestors. Or this is might be like the energy that you are observing around you in your life right now. And it's really, really strong energy. It's big, big currents of energy. And my feeling right now, dear Cancer, is that it's to do with the Taurus energy at its core, where it happens to be quite favorable for you. And so this might be giving you a feeling like this is a chance for me to come into my own power finally at last. It is a struggle because you're fighting like these primal, primal urges of the ego with the polarized part of yourself deep, deep in spirit. And it might feel like a struggle. There might be things going on very, very deep inside you that are really hard to handle right now as you come to grips with the the big currents that are happening but let's look at this in a favorable favorable light let's just say this is really good positive weather news coming up for you okay so go with it go with the flow just treat this as a good weather forecast where you're going to have an opportunity to come into your power okay dear cancer so let's see what's going on what's the general vibe wow okay coming into your power <laughs> Okay, Cancer. So the feeling I'm getting here is that either you've been wishing for this and hoping for this and it's actually happening and you're doing a really, really good job of balancing the powerfully turbulent emotional currents that flow through your life on an everyday basis, which is just how it is for you, Cancer. You see all this turbulence out here, all this flood of feelings and heart energy and uh, intuition and love and all of all all matters to do with the heart which can be very turbulent and frightening and disruptive sometimes as our boats are rocked through the ocean and how scary serpents come out from nowhere that we don't understand and it's okay it's all right okay because this card indicates mastery Okay, you're wearing the crown, you're wearing the robes of emotional mastery here, mastery of the heart. It's a little bit rich, it's almost indulgent. It, it, my feeling is that you're doing a really, really, really good job of holding it down during conditions that are actually really, really freaking hard for you cancer okay so you're doing an incredibly good job and in the process of doing a good job you are not only gaining more and more mastery of the heart but you are living by example okay so as as much pain and suffering that may be going on uh, in the process of coming into your power evolving into the new you the 
the, the one that already lives there. This is already very much indicative of your own power. You're kind of deeply in tune with yourself in this way. However, it is only understanding that there's an awful lot of emotional and heart energy that could be felt as deeply turbulent and destabilizing and unsettling and the cause of deep unhappiness. And yet, here you go. You still prevail, okay? You still prevail. See? See? This is a, this is a person of mastery. Okay, who's been through a tremendous amount of grief and anxiety and hardship in order to reach this level of mastery. All right, so where are you coming from? Whoa! It might be, dear Cancer, that this very powerful energy of hope and inspiration and knowing that everything is going to be okay is somehow deeply bedded into your DNA now. You've been living through years and years and years of the Pluto and Capricorn transition through your seventh house of fundamental primary relationships heading towards intimacy. And this may involve close affiliation with Aquarian type energy, or it might just be that you're carrying this energy with you anyway, that you might have learned through association with Aquarians, and in that you are also embodying some of the Aquarian energy, which is very, very wonderful, dear Cancer. In other words, if you have somehow or other mastered, convened inside of yourself enough strength self-mastery and power to arrive here at this point in time where you can live by example being a, a master of matters of the heart then that is allowing you to have like starting to come into your own as a beacon of hope for others okay so this is very 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 good news cancer no matter if you have reached this point of being, to coming into this reading, to be where you are now with this card of such intense hope and divine inspiration and light for the rest of us, then that's, that's, just, that's just incredible, Cancer, because a lot of people are going to be starting to look up to you for light and hope and inspiration if they just even get a sniff that you've got this energy inside you because there are so many people who are suffering in matters of the heart and coming into their own power, especially women. So dear Cancer, whether you are a male or a female watching this, if you have somehow or other figured out the secret formula of how to stay inspired, of how to believe that everything is going to be okay, even in the face of the most oppressive destabilizing energies, then the rest of us, we thank you. Okay, dear Cancer? Thank you so, so much. Wow. Wow, that's really quite something, dear Cancer. So, where are you right now? Where's things right now? You see, it's almost like I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. Oh God, why is this happening again? I feel like I gotta compose myself here for a moment, okay? I'm sorry, people. This is hitting me quite hard, this reading. I didn't, I kind of said I told you so, but this is actually hurting me to deliver this to you because in order to uh, come into your own power and realize your own strength, where the ego and the raw will power is directly and paradoxically opposed by the energy of spirit, the energy of divine, and somehow or other circumstances are supporting you to come into that perfect balance where you are in your power. And you have come into this literally living by example of 
matters of the heart, having mastery in the energy of love, to the point where you can radiate this much energy, just walking into the reading, then I have to say, well done, Cancer. But like I mentioned earlier here when we started, you didn't come to this place just by walking in having read a few books. You've been through hell, okay? And you're probably still living with some of it right now, okay? And you're vividly aware of that. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of losing it here. We'll get it together in a moment, don't worry. All right, I feel for you, Cancer. I really, really do. You don't... It's impossible to radiate this much mastery this much power of hope and inspiration and have enough divine spirit support to come into your own power and overcome matters of the will of the ego and lower vibration aspects of yourself without having gone through epic battles of the heart which <laughs> which may have been experienced as a lot of pain, a lot of pain and suffering in matters of the heart. And yet somehow or other you find light and inspiration out of it all. And you're turning a lot of pain into goodness. It's like, it's alchemy. It's the healing power of love, okay? It's like it's turning garbage into gold, okay? It's literally alchemy. So that's what you're doing. You're do being doing a very, very good job. You're doing an extremely good job of handling this because somewhere deep inside of you, Cancer, there is a lot of pain, okay? I hate to break it to you in such a blunt way, but it's very, very evident here, okay? So what's happening moving forward? Okay. You're walking right into it. It's a shit storm, okay? And it's mostly up in your head. In other words, you're feeling your heartache up in your head. Deep, 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 deep down, you've got it. You own a heart. You're full of heart. You're full of love. You're a master of love to the point where you are an inspiration for others. But there's no denial, Cancer, that deep, deep inside you are suffering an ongoing battle to the point where it's bringing you to the condition where I am right now as your reader, okay? This is how I'm feeling right now. Partly, I guess, it's because of this reading. It's bringing up an awful lot of pain and suffering that I feel belongs to everybody, and I'm just picking it up. This is the pain and suffering of the world of which you are very aware, and you're feeling it deep in your heart. And you're going to be facing into it, okay? That's where you're heading, and that's okay. Because you're prepared, and you're very strong, and you're going to live by your own example. In other words, you're not going to be defeated by this. You are not be, will not be defeated by this, dear Cancer. You may be walking right into this, and you're aware of it, but you're very well prepared, okay? Nevertheless, nevertheless, it's it's an indication of deep anxiety like there is so much pain just below the surface but you're doing an incredibly good job of handling it okay all right cancer sorry to sorry the reading is going this way it's, it's catching me off guard a little bit we're going to do this okay so how are you going to move forward with all of that you're going to hold on to what you got you're going to hold on to what works in your life. The tangible, three-dimensional ingredients and elements of your life that work, okay? You're going to hold on for dear life because that's what works, okay? Anything that is, feels like uh, destabilizing to the matters of the heart, they're going to happen anyway. But the way to move through it all is to literally cling on to your power okay this is a strong card of power 
coming into power, holding power, gaining power, having reached power. Okay, some people think of it as a hoarding thing, but it's also very much to do with the four pillars of foundations of everything that holds up life as we know it. All of these homes and buildings and cities and structures and corporations and families and everything, they all have foundations. And the ones that endure, the ones that survive through this, have strong foundations, okay? So you're going to hold on very closely to the three-dimensional aspects of your life that work, okay? We're literally talking about work, money, health, career, stuff like that. The real tangible aspects of life. The three-dimensional stuff. I'm not talking about anything to do with the spirit or imagination or inspiration. Any any of the uh, wooey-wooey stuff. We're just talking about just the raw matter of life, okay? Whew. Okay. All right, so what lies ahead? Come on, let's do this. Let's just do this. Oh, gosh, there's some... Let's just call it big truth. They're somewhere on the horizon coming up. I'm not even sure if it's going to be in May. <clears throat> but there's going to be a reckoning, okay? There's going to be some kind of reckoning. And it's to do with matters of the heart, where there has been a lot of pain and suffering. And somehow or other, this is going to be addressed. And either this is coming to you from the source of the pain and suffering, or you're going to look in the mirror and realize how you have been um, an enabler in your own pain and suffering, okay? And accepting it, okay? And this, hopefully this energy, either you will receive it, or it will be delivered in such a way that is very, very, very masterful without any desire or reason to cause a lot of pain or injustice or uh, vengeance or anything like that. But this is very hard, strong energy, and it might not be fun. It might not be pretty, okay? But it might be what is appropriate and what is necessary in order to evolve and grow. This could also imply, dear Cancer, that... As you go through this, this profoundly, deeply painful experience here, and you do the right, you do the smart thing, and you just literally grab, hold on to what works, hold on to the things that are stable in your life, the people, the things, the jobs, the money. The, the chores, your day-to-day -day chores, everything that would constitute your tangible, three-dimensional day-to-day -day life. As you move forward into that, you may come face-on into this, where it is a chance for you to achieve mastery of the truth of what is going on in your life. And like I said earlier, it may not be pretty, but at least it's, it's the truth. Because honestly, in order to move forward in life, in order to evolve, you can't do it based on deception, betrayal, lies, deceit, um, falsehoods, fake this, fake that, fake relationships, fake beliefs, fake understandings, fake all sorts of stuff, which is probably the, uh, the primary ingredients of all this pain and suffering. Okay? So as... As all of this is revealed and exposed and exposed, it's this is sometimes I mention in readings about the whole idea of having to reveal it to heal it. So as as you reveal it to heal it, the healing process and the re the process of revealing and the process of healing and in other words, the revelation of all this deep pain and suffering, and the acceptance of it, and just living through it. Yes, it might be extremely painful, but so long as you hold on to your surroundings and your foundations, the people who love you, and everything that constitutes your world, this is a chance for coming into awakening and evolving into a new or higher version of yourself where you, where you do attain mastery 
of the truth of what is actually actually really going on in your life okay as opposed to what you thought was going on so this is a very extreme reading so far dear cancer there's a lot of very strong polarized energy going on here uh, I feel this is quite a lot of this is to do with the relationship dynamics with uh, the, the Aries Libra polarity and the Pluto and Capricorn energy it's just it's been relentless for years and we're just dealing with a whole pile of it right now but try to see this as good news okay coming through all this pain to come to this level of awakening even if the truth hurts okay it's impossible to evolve and grow without the facts without the truth otherwise you end up on false paths false directions and it all falls apart later on and you waste all the good energy so what are the hopes and fears about this journey okay well some people say that this is your card dear cancer it's digging up like going deep 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 within and making a very very definitive irrevocable decision to take charge and prevail and succeed no matter what okay so in the hopes and dreams position this would make total sense in that this is what you're hoping for this is what you're dreaming for because it it's impossible to handle this this much pain without coming into this much power okay without taking ownership of your life and command of the power the, the passions of life wherever they take you and with this uh, uh, big let me just show you the chart here with this thing it looks like this for you dear cancer it's this this relationship dynamic is affecting you in the home and in the career and in the seventh house over here the house of relationships so there might be very very like vivid shocking surprisingly scary but wonderful and beautiful things that are happening in your relationships with yourself and others at a very profound level that are happening and it's the pressure is coming from over here in your primary relationships there's no way out of it there's no escape you just have to deal with it but this could be very 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 hard uncomfortable energy to handle which would easily manifest as this as you try to balance out these polarities there might be deep love vested here with someone particularly an Aquarian type where even though it's very beautiful energy it might be very very hard to integrate in your life in the form of a relationship but do not despair because you have mastery and you are coming into mastery and you are absolutely determined to come into mastery and claim your life your new life okay so go back and watch the Leo North Node tapes for for cancer okay it could also be in the fear position here that you don't have enough power to do this and be this it's it's okay you know when you set the, the standards extremely high for yourself cancer which is what you've been doing here you are absolutely determined to come into your power and you've arrived here in your power and you've brought a tremendous tremendous energy of hope and inspiration with you I don't know where you got it all from or how you manifested that but you've done it somehow even in the face of all of this and this so you're under a lot of pressure dear cancer and if you're scared that you don't have the chance to win and be victorious in this manner it's understandable but you do you do dear cancer this May, the energy of Taurus is really, really on your side, okay? It's very, very supportive of you, and it's indirect. It's not face-on, okay? In, in astrology, it's called sextiles, and so 
that's very good news and also with the new moon coming up that's very very powerfully beneficial for you and with the full moon coming up in the middle early May that's going to be very good for you too okay so stay strong be positive and keep holding on to the reins and taking charge of your life because you can do it can't you you really really can in in the face of deep deep pain and deep anxiety you're doing an incredibly good job cancer honestly I don't know how you're doing it but you're setting an example for the rest of us so where's it going see cancer you're living by example you're doing the work you're doing it in ways that are tangible and understandable you're not letting these huge emotional rip currents tear you apart it's not happening you are exercising full mastery over this deeply painful emotional turbulence okay not every cancer of course is going to be dealing with it they might be having outstanding good fortune but from my observation here there are a lot of cancer cancerians that are really being plunged into the depths in a similar way to the way Capricorn has been dealing with it and so where this is heading it looks like that you're doing an incredibly good job it's just a lot of work literally it is a lot of work and that relates to the Saturn and Sagittarius cruising through your what is that sixth house I believe of work and health okay so in other words these two reinforce each other hold on very very tight to what is working whatever is not working gently gently release it or do not focus on it focus your attention on everything that works and everything that's tangible and solid and then keep working at it work 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 and work refine your craft refine the skills stay busy and this will help you deal with the heartache and the pain and the suffering and don't worry about everybody else and whatever they're up to whatever they're doing literally just mind your own business take care of you cancer put yourself first put yourself first and allow yourself to rise into your your new elevated state of being um, by the way with the, I'm talking about the north node in Leo here that's in your second house of money and wealth and abundance so I feel a very very strong connection here between the outcome of this reading and the Leo North Node in Leo hitting your second house of money and value and values and self-worth so please understand that you're on a very good path dear cancer and you are worth all of that and you are worth everything that you deserve and you deserve a lot okay so go cancer the universe is supporting you there's very 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 strong supportive energy for you here in May and we're gonna deal with this okay we're gonna deal with all of this pain and suffering you're already doing a good job living by example okay so thank you for setting an example for the rest of us cancer I hope you get something out of this reading you can reinterpret of course however you want I was just giving you my little storyline. And I wish you all the best in May. Okay, Cancer? Bye-bye now.